While Egypt's tourism industry and economy in general continue to struggle, the tourism minister has said he expects Iranian visitors will provide a much-needed boost to the country's coffers after Egypt decided to allow citizens from the Islamic Republic to visit for the first time in about 30 years. Egyptian conservatives have feared that Iran is trying to spread Shia Islam to the Sunni world. However, Minister Hesham Zazao doesn't believe that this is an issue. The Iranian tourists, as far as I, I went there and I, uh, I had discussions technically, they are coming to visit touristic sites within Egypt. Places like uh, Luxor, Aswan and others are coming as a vacation. Like going to Antalya, they want to come here and by the Red Sea and enjoy Sharm el Sheikh or Hurghada or other cities. So basically, they are pure tourists. They're not coming to create a revolution as far as I'm concerned. Diplomatic relations have been frozen between Egypt and Iran since 1979, when the country underwent its Islamic revolution and Egypt signed its peace treaty with Israel. However, with the ouster of former Egyptian President Hosni Mubarak, relations have begun to thaw, and both Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad and current Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi have made official visits to each other in the past year. For many, though, Egypt's tourism reputation is still tarnished by a perceived lack of security with the ongoing unrest. A kidnapping of several tourists in the Sinai Peninsula earlier this month has also worried many abroad, but the tourism minister is hopeful this will be a solitary incident. I do believe this will not reflect negatively uh, as many would think. Yes, of course, uh, this is these kinds of incidents I would, wouldn't like to happen or reoccur again in the future. And actually, I'm working very closely with the security uh, circles in that respect to ensure uh, of, uh, of, uh, that the reoccurrence of such incidents will not happen in the future, I hope. Despite this optimism, however, the tourism industry still has many hurdles to overcome if it wants to regain the pre-2010 revolution confidence of visitors. Safety is still a big concern after a hot air balloon crashed and burned, killing 19 people aboard. And many Westerners are also wary of Egypt's new Islamist leadership and fear a ban on bikinis and alcohol consumption at the country's once popular Mediterranean resorts. It remains to be seen, however, if Iranian tourists can pick up the slack left by Western visitors, as the Egyptian foreign ministry has placed restrictions on the size of the groups allowed to visit and the locations they can go to. But any increase will likely be welcome, as once popular destinations such as the Valley of the Kings currently only have a hotel occupancy rate of 30%.